trash. Junk. Stuff you don't need anymore. Whatever you call it, we, as consumers, have no problem generating it. But what about getting rid of it? Now that can be a problem. Unless you live in St. Paul. Here, residents have an easy and affordable way to get rid of stuff they no longer want and prevent it from piling up in a landfill or polluting the environment. They're called community cleanup events. For over 20 years throughout the city, people have brought their old furniture, appliances, tires, electronics, and countless other items to be reused, recycled, or safely disposed of. From May through October, local district councils team up with the City of St. Paul, local businesses, and charitable organizations to help make cleanup of homes and neighborhoods easier and greener. Chuck Repke, Executive Director of the District 2 Community Council, helps run their cleanup event on the city's east side. We usually have ours about the end of October each year. Every one of the uh, district councils in St. Paul do some kind of a cleanup, either a spring cleanup or a fall cleanup. Um, basically what we're trying to do is to get people out to uh, recycle and dispose of uh, concrete, old wood products, couches, furniture. The best way obviously to recycle is to reuse, so we try and do as much of that as possible. At each event, the reuse area is usually the first stop. Here, participants can drop off items that are still in good condition and they are welcome to take home any items they may need. These cleanup events give residents a convenient way to recycle things like electronics, scrap metal, and appliances, to share usable household and building materials with others, and to properly dispose of large or problem materials. Each one of these events are scheduled in their district council area or sometimes they're combined between multiple districts will do it together and it's the residents of that that are able to bring um, their products here. We usually have somewhere around 350 to 400 people that will come through the cleanup on a, on a Saturday so we're a pretty good sized one. When you arrive at the cleanup you are greeted by a friendly volunteer, possibly your neighbor who will ask what you have brought to the event. Next, you will visit the cashier and you will be directed to the various stations. There are many people on site to move you through the process easily and efficiently. A gate fee or general disposal fee ranging from eight to $20 will allow residents to dispose of a car load or a truck or trailer full of refuse. Additional fees do apply for certain items like mattresses, electronics, and appliances. But even if it costs you a few bucks, it's still a bargain, according to Chuck. We charge a fee for everybody who's going through the gate, but it's considerably less than what your hauler would charge, because obviously our hauler is here with these huge dumpsters and the large truck to be able to take it out. Whereas if you were to just simply be doing it at your house, the fee is going to be so much larger because they've got a haul that individual either appliance or couch or chair or whatever it is, they have to make a special trip out for it. Another reason these events are affordable is due to the hard work by neighborhood volunteers who keep everything running smoothly. But even an event staffed by volunteers has expenses. Each year, the main costs are for hauling and disposing of materials and promoting the events. A cleanup like this, even after our fees are collected, with the amount of tonnage we have, will probably run about twelve to fourteen thousand dollars that the city kicks in as well. Community cleanup events are just one of many Come Clean projects supported by the City of St. Paul. They are an important investment for the future to make our homes, neighborhoods, and the environment cleaner and healthier. For details about a community cleanup event in your neighborhood, watch for information coming to your home soon. You can also check with your St. Paul District Council or visit the City of St. Paul recycling pages at stpaul.gov recycle for more information and a calendar of events. Get ready for your community cleanup day.